This here is the coolest 3000 watt amp on the market. Not only is it small enough to fit in the size of basically two of my hand, but it also has Bluetooth, USB, aux, FM radio, and RCA inputs. Stay tuned to see how we are going to use this teeny little amp to transform my garage slash car stereo setup. Guys, this is the all-new Tar Amps Trio Amplifier. You, of course, have your box. You get your sticker. It does come with a remote. You then get the uh, amp. This is a 12-volt amp meant for car stereo setups. I'll go over all this here in a second. What is really neat, this is just not your basic car stereo setup, guys. You can do all kinds of stuff over here, so we'll show all that. Now, in my garage, I have a car stereo setup. Ran off of a 12 volt battery and a 12 volt uh, converter powering system, and to charge my speakers and my sub, I got a big old 1400 watt amp, I got another 800 watt amp for the speakers, so it's just kind of a big mess over here. What's crazy about this, guys, this amp is just a little bit bigger than my uh, four channel amp that I got going on over here. This is gonna allow me to remove this, allow me to remove this big old bass amp, which is a 1400 watt amp. And y'all, it is twice the size of this tar amps. So we'll be able to clean this up a whole lot, save a lot of room. And this guy's got some really, really cool perks. First off, guys, let's look at this amp. Very, very cool. Kind of has your, you know, normal tar amps look to it. But uh, they call this the Trio Player. This is not, again, not just a car audio normal amp. Of course, over here we have our protect light. We have our clip and temperature light. And we have our on light over here. On this side, we have our power, ground, and remote. This does only look to be four gauge, which in my opinion, way too small for a uh, over 3000 watt RMS amp, guys. So we're gonna have some input reducers that will allow us to use that. We then have our high outputs and our low outputs, which funny enough, these things are massive. They're almost as big as the, out, as the inputs for the power. Kind of funny there. So basically you have high outputs for your speakers, low outputs for your sub system over here. Uh, this does have a smart cooler. So we have a fan that will adjust as the amp gets hotter and colder. Really, really nice. I know some of the old tar amps, like the ones I have in my car, they just run nonstop and they are super annoying. On this side, you have your normal RCA inputs like you would see, but we also have a USB input. We have a uh, another input here for some sort of little thumb drive or something. Uh, we have a aux input. Uh, we have volume adjustments, guys. So you can use this as a standalone unit. That's pretty cool. You can stop and play right from here. You have your mode button. And then over here, we have our uh, crossovers. So we have a subsonic filter. This goes from 10 to 80 hertz. So if you did want to totally block out the bass and just use the low outputs for more of a mid bass, you could totally do that, guys. We then have our low high crossover which you can set anywhere from 700 hertz to 1.2 kilohertz. For the high level, we have our gain, so you can adjust that there. Then for the low level, we have a gain, and we do have a bass boost that you can set between uh, 0 and 10 dB. And then another cool thing, we have a limiter here, guys. So if this thing detects that it is clipping, you can uh, adjust it. So we can set it to 1%, 5%, or 10%. So of course, 1%. It's going to get louder, but going to be more likely to clip, whereas 10%, maybe not going to be quite as loud, but going to be safer on your speakers. And then you can plug in a monitor here as well. It's just a clip and on-off monitor. Now, guys, I want to give BREarthquake.com a huge, huge shout-out for sending me this amp. I appreciate it so much, guys. They have really supported the channel with a ton of videos, so thank you all so, so much. Should you want to go check out this amp, there will be a link in the description below. Guys, it is not an affiliate link. I don't get paid for y'all clicking on the link, but it does help out them, and they've been really nice to help out me with some cool stuff for content, guys, so go check them out. Okay, I have these Sky High Car Audio reducers. Bought these for ever ago, ended up not needing them, but these are zero to four gauge reducers. So let's see if it looks like these will work. Oh, guys, that is absolutely beautiful. Fits in there perfect. Now, one thing I did not mention, uh, this is technically a you know two-channel amp, however you want to say it. So uh, the low input channel is 3000 watts RMS at four ohms, which is pretty wild. And then the high output channel is 250 watts at four ohms. So we're gonna see how this thing does.
everything is hooked up guys looks nice and clean this is awesome so uh, we're gonna power this thing on first just to see what it does Okay, we've got a little fan going, which I can hear. It came on loud for a second and then, then it went kind of dim. Oh, okay, very cool. Okay, we got the radio on. Guys, look at those. Isn't that cool? Okay, yes, this does mean Bluetooth, so I'm gonna turn it to that. Look at that, guys, tar amps. How cool is that? Let's see if it'll connect. Ah, it connected. interesting things to note uh, first of all so each of these speakers are four ohms so i had them wired down to two ohms on my old tar amps and that was fine uh, it did not like that on this guy it would not play it so i just had to run these in series uh, up to eight ohms and now we are totally fine and y'all it sounds crisp and clear and it works just fine another interesting thing so i actually have the radio off you know we're not playing through the radio we're playing through the bluetooth um, but there's a remote wire, but to turn this thing on and off, you hold down the mode button. So that's kind of interesting. A little bit different there. Another thing to note, guys, and I actually kind of don't really like this. Uh, again, I, I think this is really meant for mid bass and highs, not necessarily a subwoofer, even though it does work for one. But since the uh, crossover only goes to 700 hertz, uh, you're going to hear vocals through your sub. It's not just going to play the bass. Again, uh, not a big deal, and it sounds fine, but that is one thing to note, guys. Now, if you do want to use this as a bass-only amp, then what you would do, you would, of course, run your RCAs from your head unit. You would then uh, set your head unit to have a low-pass filter, and then you'd be fine, guys. It wouldn't uh, matter. I will say, guys, this amp is awesome. It's already pushing this sub harder than this much, much bigger, at least size-wise, amp. Okay, next up, y'all, I'm going to mount the smart charger. I think I'm going to put it here where this amp was. Pull this amp, amp off. Y'all, if you think this amp should be a giveaway amp, let me know. I'm definitely thinking about giving it away. Leave a thumbs up in the comment if you want to see this guy given away. got this thing kind of figured out here guys so if you want to use this like a normal car uh stereo amplifier we're going to turn this on just like you would in your car and you'll see it will automatically power it on here and this just goes into the normal rca settings so it'll play whatever is going through the rca here so this is linked to here And it's playing through here. Again, so if I go to turn this off, it turns it off over here. Now, that being said, if you want to then access the Bluetooth or some of the, or the aux or the USB straight from here, you got to power on this little guy. So when it's powered on from the unit, it does those settings, but it won't do the stereo setting. So then again, you can just turn it off here to get out of the settings over here. And you can go back over to here, turn on your radio, and you'll see the tar amps powers up. That's a quick rundown of how this thing works, guys, but y'all wanna see it in action. Let's see what this guy can put out. We're gonna really turn this guy up, walk around the shop, see how loud we can get it. Oh, that is way more
more power than the old amp could put out. Okay, let's uh, turn that down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Guys, this amp puts out the work, especially with the uh, sub portion of it. Pushing this die audio way harder than it can totally go. Uh, I've got a American Base 15 over there. Maybe I'll throw that in here. We'll see how that does. <laughs> Well, guys, that is the all-new uh, Tar Amps Trio Series amp. This thing is super cool. Let me know what you think. Um, my overall opinion, y'all, uh, for the at least sub part of it, puts out a ton of power. Sounds really good. Uh, much better match with this American Base 15. Pushes this guy really nice. This is an XFL. I had this playing for multiple songs. Uh, did great. No clipping. Does awesome. Only a little complaint is that you only get 250 watts RMS with the highs. Which just seems a little contradictory. Since this is kind of meant to be an all-in-one system, guys, the bass definitely drowns out the highs. If I turn the highs up too much, I will start getting a little bit of popping coming through just from where it was starting to dis distort. So, um, so, yeah, I think it would be cool to see this amp where maybe it had a little less sub power, a little more highs power. Another thing, since the crossover only goes to 700 hertz, well, that tells me, and it's not really meant for a setup exactly like this. I bet this would really do really awesome if you had a little, little like kind of like portable setup that you could take the shows and the whatnot with some eight inch subs, maybe some stuff like that. I think that would be really really cool, and that also might make a little bit more sense where you might want more power going to that more so mid to low end bass sort of thing instead of a big twelve or fifteen like this. Anyway, guys, it does really good. Very crisp and clear. Sounds absolutely awesome with this setup. And I love the fact, guys, that this amp is absolutely tiny, but it really, really packs a punch. Hits way, way harder than the other amp that I had in here that was half the power, guys. Full bridge amps, absolutely awesome. Tar amps, really pushing in and innovating, really doing some cool, cool stuff. Oh, another thing I would change. Also, the fact that it only has, like, four-gauge inputs... For a 3,000 watt RMS amp, guys, that's crazy. Now, having these little terminals that I have, these reducers, worked absolutely perfect, guys. I'll leave the link in the description below to where you can get these little 0 to 4-gauge reducers. Again, these things are absolutely awesome. 
but it would be nice if it just had zero gauge uh, terminals already on it so you could just plug it right in. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Let me know what you like about it. Let me know what you would change. Let me know what you think. Overall, really cool amp. This thing only goes for 300 bucks, guys, so not a bad deal at all, especially for all the cool stuff that you get. I know some people are going to use this for some really, really cool little mini systems. The great thing about this, guys, you don't have to use a head unit. You could just Bluetooth or USB or aux straight to it in your little system. Don't need something crazy. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If you grab one, let me know. Go check out BeerEarthquake.com. Now, I do think we're going to give away this CT Sounds amp, so stay tuned for that. And in the next video, guys, we're going to be announcing the next giveaway, which, since y'all stay tuned to the end of the video, get a sneak peek here. Giving away both of these DefBot subs, so somebody will be getting some dual 12s in their life. We'll be going over the details for that in the next video, guys, so stay tuned for that. Guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so, so much. Remember, as always, keep basing on.